okay guys so in this chapter we are basically going to learn how to make product templates understanding HTML editor how it works and understanding FTP server or you can also put your images in photo bucket and how to call that HTML or how to call that URL image inside your HTML template now that's the main agenda making your own product templates now in order to make the product templates uh, let's download something HTML editor and also download FileZilla FTP client these two are the main applications we are going to download um, also let me add one more application here called um, 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 Photoscape Photoscape is a very nice application that I normally use to clean up the images and also to add watermarks and for me it's a very um, important a must application so um, let's just start with uh, downloading Photoscape so let me show you all you have to do is go to Google um, so let's go to Google and say you want to download Photoscape okay and uh, now all you have to do is just download this application from the internet and once you download um, you can go to start programs and you should be able to see Photoscape in your computer. Photoscape. This is Photoscape. Now inside Photoscape I can open up the image, I can do the cleaning, so I can do editor, I can also use badge editor. So these are my two um, parts that I would use frequently. I will use badge editor when I want to do one uh, change in all images together. For example, I want to put uh, watermark, then I will just use badge editor in this case. Um, the simple editor, this is simply used to um, do any changes in your image, um, any basic modification. So before we upload our image, into the website we will always add the contrast we will always do a bit of modification in the image to make it more look more beautiful so let's come back to this part later now um, I want to go back to uh, downloading FileZilla application and also um, the so thing HTML editor so let's come to that point now okay so now we're going to download the applications that we talked about so let's go to uh, FileZilla so uh, I mean you can basically find this client just type in Google FileZilla FTP client and you will see this website and you simply download the Windows version of FileZilla into your computer if you are using Windows XP and if you want to download Sothing HTML client just go to Google and type Sothing HTML editor and you will see their website um, and let's go to their website and now you can see free download so just download and install this application so um, you need to understand in the free version of Sothing HTML editor we can only modify one product template at one time you're not allowed to have multiple HTML uh, files open at one time whereas the standard version does allow having more than one HTML files so I use a standard version for my computer and I, I would suggest if you can also buy this standard version which is pretty helpful okay so once you have got these applications installed in your computer all you have to do is ex um, open them and then start um, exploring the next part so let's go through it now let's go to um, source tech so thing html editor 2.5 so thing html editor this is the application i'm talking about and this is basically your html code which i'm sure you don't want to see that because you don't like it no one wants to talk about html codes so you don't have to um, go through it you can click on design and now in this part you will start um, adding your template now the first step is to let's say insert um, table um, a table of one by one for example enter now this is a table of one by one you can also adjust the size of this table make it smaller and um, let's say um, you can also put this table into the center now now let's say I'm going to put some stuff here so for example I can say um, this is my test product template now format go to font let's make it bigger let's say Arial size 6 you want to make it color red for example okay now here I'm going to get some images now this is very important part then you need to understand how to get your images so in order to get images um, 
there are two places where you can put your images whenever you are uploading your product templates into eBay or any selling platform um, I don't personally go for hosting my images with eBay um, the reason obviously I will clear in the classroom why we don't want to host our image with eBay and why we want to use our own FTP server or link to get the images now before we get our images we need to upload these images into FTP server or photo bucket now uh, getting a photo bucket account is very easy all you have to do is go to photobucket.com sign up using your Facebook or make a new account so I have my account called extreme commerce and I'm going to upload some photos here or second option um, you can have your own FTP server so let me go to my FTP client now this is file sealer Okay, so I start my FTP client application now and uh, I click uh, I mean you can just put your use um, the IP address of your host name and username and password if you want to connect to your FTP server which is your website usually provided to you by your hosting provider um, I already have this information saved so I just connect now now inside my FTP server I can see this is my website so www folder contains my main website and um, inside I can see images folder I go inside images folder and now I can start uploading all my images from my local drive into my FTP server or my website so what I can do is if I go into um, iPhone let me make one folder here called iPhone tripod so this is the first product I would like to upload now in my local drive you can see iPhone tripod and um, you can see my original images that I already sh have shown you they are very good quality so I can simply um, drag and drop all of this here but hang on before I do this I must do watermark because a lot of people um, on internet will start stealing the images uh, we work very hard on these images so let's do the watermark first how can you do watermark for all of these images let's go to um, um, let's go to photoscape and inside photoscape um, we select the batch editor because we are going to do uh, for all these images uh, instead of one image so I go to this folder where I have all my images I select all of them and you can see the watermark is already um, there called test it's already there so I just go to object and I can see text one is test so I'll change it now I change it to um, www.extremecommerce.org and say and I can change the font and I can do it whatever way I want so okay now you can see um, this particular watermark will be um, attached to every single image that I have um, so let's say convert all save now let's go to this folder and see what's going on this part is done go back to this folder and inside this folder you will see a folder called output now inside this folder you can see all our images do have this uh, watermark now so let's do one thing I can save I can change the name of this output folder to extreme commerce because we might have five different websites we might have eBay we might have Amazon we have different places to uh, list our products so we might be doing different watermarks uh, for the same image so um, if extreme if I'm going to upload these images on my website so I can put the extreme commerce or I can put this watermark but now let's remove them again let's remove them let's add them again and now this time I will change my watermark to only extreme commerce why is that because these images will be going to eBay now eBay does not allow you to have your website URL as a watermark for your images they strictly do not allow that and they will suspend your account if you try to do that so these images with just this simple watermark they will be going to my eBay listing so let's convert them again save so let's have a look what happened this time so another output folder is created now I will change the name of this one to extreme commerce eBay so these images I will be uploading to my um, eBay um, account template and uh, 
this one I can change to www.extremecommerce.org. So I just want to keep um, uh, easy management or easy way for me to recognize um, that these are simple original images without any watermark and this folder contains same images but with this watermark and this folder contains all same images but with different watermark. Now, I mean, let's say, imagine if I'm selling all these products on, um, on one of my website. So what I can do is I close them and I copy them again. And this time I will put my watermark as, let's say, www.abc.com. So let's say this is my website, abc.com, and convert all. So now what's the next step? Now the next step is I change this folder name to abc.com. Now, if you see, I have these three folders and they contain the, all the same images but with different watermarks. Now, inside my FTP folder structure, what I can do is um, I can basically, um, I can create inside images, I can create a folder called um, eBay images, then I can create one more folder called, um, say, website images then I can create one more folder called ABC images so just for easy management so you know that um, if you are going to upload this template into eBay so let's do one thing now go back to this folder you will see um, extreme commerce eBay let's upload um, let's say one two three four five I just upload these five images into this folder Okay, done. Now um, I also make one more folder called uh, website images. Now inside eBay folder, what we can do is uh, we can keep all those images which are going into uh, eBay listing. And um, now for website one, we can simply go to this one one two three four five and upload all these images into the uh, this is done now so let's call let's try to call this image and see how it works let's go to website let's go to a browser and try to call this image now http www.extremecommerce.org slash images slash um, um, slash website okay website slash and let's try to call this image now iPhone tripod one dot jpg now this is my URL you can see now this image is coming from my website and this is the URL uh, which is my watermark now if I say um, bring the same image from another folder called eBay this time you see the same image is coming but with this particular watermark for eBay now now it's up to me when I am designing my template which image I want to use in that particular template if I'm designing my template for eBay listings I will start calling these images